Hey guys, this is Same Sex Dialogue, and we're coming at you with episode 6. This is going to be our holiday podcast, and we thought we'd get one in right before you guys head off for the holidays with your family and friends, so stay tuned. Here we go. Are you ready? It's time for Same Sex Dialogue Podcast, where you'll hear the most entertaining discussions about gay topics, current events, and news. We speak our mind and nothing is off the table. Now, here are your hosts, K-Town and the super sexy fashion queen herself, Kim Style. Ho, ho, ho. (laughs) Hey, don't call me that. (laughs) Happy holidays. It's Kim Style and... This is K-Town. Hey, we... uh are so excited about tonight. First of all, happy holidays. Yes, happy holidays and to you guys. we're just sitting here sipping on some coffee. And by coffee, I mean champagne. <laughs> <laughs> She's not lying. <laughs> Celebrating the season. It is the reason. Um, yeah. Uh, we're yeah. going to talk tonight a little bit about what every single gay person has to experience for the first time and that's taking their um lover home for the holidays yeah. for the first time getting in that hot seat yeah <laughs> it's called homo for the holidays <laughs> but anyway all jokes aside we are we came up with several different things to do yeah. in order and hopefully these will help you. Some things not to do, too. Yeah, so. things to do, things not to do, and things that we've kind of experienced and some things our friends have experienced. So, um, oh, what prompted this actually was an email from Blake. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to read that now. All right, go ahead. Uh, hey, K-Town and Kim Style. I just came out. And this is my first holiday going home with my boyfriend. And I'm a little nervous, needless to say. Any advice, mm-hmm. Blake? Mm-hmm. Mm, yes, we got you some advice, Blake. <laughs> <laughs> we actually, ha- we uh, we got a little technical on this one. We This is usually pretty impromptu, but we're like, let's really help this guy out. Yes. And so we, we have seven different thing um, in order starting with number one i'm gonna let you start but number one is what baby well um always um no one likes um surprises so you need to really just call ahead no people don't like gay surprises baby. <laughs> they, I love sur- if you surprise me with a tiffany's box i'm gonna love that but if you come home with a gay boyfriend, that's not a good surprise. No, no. <laughs> or a gay girlfriend. But if you show up with the blue box from Tiffany's, we like those surprises. Well, well no surprises. <laughs> Seriously, they they are not going to be receptive of your other half if you just show up uh, unannounced and they don't know that they're coming. So just to get them mentally prepared for the occasion. You want to just let them know that they're yeah. coming. Just call so. ahead and say, hey, hey, mom and dad, I love you. And, yeah. you know, uh, Billy and I will be there. How's Fee Fee the dog? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Billy and My I will be there over. Friday at noon for, for brunch, for Christmas brunch. Love you. <laughs> Bye-bye. Ciao. <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. All right. So, oh. baby, tell us what number two is. Okay. When you show up. Introduce with confidence. You don't want to go and be all shy. Yeah, and, yeah like you've done skittish. something wrong. <laughs> yeah, like you've done something wrong because you haven't done anything wrong. Yeah. Just say, hey, hey, yeah. I love you. I've missed you. This is Billy. Yeah. Meet, meet my, my boyfriend. boyfriend. That's right. This absolutely. is my boyfriend, not my roommate. My this boyfriend. is my boyfriend. Or meet my girlfriend. Billy. Yeah, or my Such girlfriend. A, yes. Or my girlfriend Sally, whatever her name yeah. is. Just don't, introduce with confidence. Yeah, don't cower down. Yeah, and like don't. Some, because some, you, you've done something wrong. Because then they look at it as if it's wrong. Right. 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 Yeah. Absolutely. All yeah. right. So uh, the next pointer we have is if you decide to touch, uh, touch affectionately but appropriately. Right. Because they're already going to have a hard time dealing with it anyway, so you don't want to be disrespectful in that way. Well, in general, a lot of people are uncomfortable with 
you know, openly PDAs. gay. And, yeah, that's right. That's right. Even, I Even don't if care it's what, straight. That's, that's right, right. That's right. That's right. You know, if you have your hand on someone's <clears throat> knee or you're holding hands, you definitely don't want to make out at the Christmas dinner. <laughs> you know, leave all tongues at the door. <laughs> no tongues are invited. You're crazy. You know, just, just use common sense there. That's right. Just use common sense. I mean, don't don't make out in front of your parents. That's right. That's right. It's not I think a good that's idea. Common sense, but not a lot, a lot of people have common sense. You're so right. You're right. hang on, I need a drink of sh- coffee, <laughs> aka champagne. Go ahead, babe. All right. So um, the next thing is. Oh, I got this one. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Be sure to talk about your life together. Talk yeah. about your life together. Uh, it helps them to not look at your relationship just as sexual. Right. Let me say this. Okay. Because you know that yeah, um, most people, when or, or straight people, when, and I don't know why their mind goes there, but the first thing to think about is the sex. And... They think sex, <laughs> they think, they think, people, straight people think gays are just swinging from the chandeliers <laughs> all the time. I know you and I are, baby, all the time, swinging from the chandeliers. However, you, you want them to relate to you. I mean, if you've, if you've gone on a hiking trip or if you've been scuba diving, right. talk about those things. So that they know, hey, they really do get along and they're good. It's more than just sex. It's more than just sex. Right. It's not all about the sex. I don't know why their mind goes there, but it does. So just talk about, you know, the things that you guys do together. It helps them to see it in a different light. Right. All right. So our next pointer would be um, if things get a little awkward, um, you can... um, Lighten up with some some <laughs> games. My favorite is Jenga or Uno. Um, anything to lighten the mood. You don't want it to feel that heaviness yeah, or, yeah, or yeah. awkwardness right. that might come with a parent. You know, especially if they're very conservative. You want them to feel comfortable as much as your partner. You right. want them to be comfortable. You don't want them to be uncomfortable in front of your parents. Right, so right. get out some games, you know, Monopoly or, I don't know. Whatever. Card games, whatever, whatever. Um, that, oh gosh, what was that game that I love? Apples to Apples. Yeah, Apples to Apples is real good. That's fun. Ooh, that's fun. That's if you have funny. enough people to um, get a game going of that, that's always fun. Yeah, it is. But anything yeah. to lighten the mood and... Just, you know, get yeah, just, off the subject of the, right. your son is going to bed with a man. Yes, yeah, just ooh, ridiculous. Ooh, or ooh, your ooh. daughter. I mean, this is for Or your daughter. Stuff. Absolutely, yeah. <clears throat> absolutely. Um, the next thing is, you know, excuse yourself for a moment. Leave your partner alone with your parents, maybe just for a few minutes, it it kind of encourages bonding. That's because, a good point, babe. Yeah. Well, they'll have time to maybe ask some questions. Questions. That's right. You know, where do you work? What are your hobbies? Yes. You know, yes. do you go to church? You know, yeah. parents love to ask that. Where do you go to school? Absolutely. What do you do for a living? And and they'll get to know your partner on a deeper level. Absolutely. When you are not there, right. things that they wouldn't ask if you're there because right. they you know, have a tendency maybe to ignore your partner or just, you know, just be kind of nonchalant. Yeah, yeah. But if you leave the three of them alone in a room, they have to talk yeah. to them. It forces them to bond with absolutely, each other. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. That's a great, that's a great point, honey. But the ending thing is when you're ready to leave, yes. you would. You need to thank them uh, graciously for inviting you into their home mm-hmm. and, you know, just say, you look forward to seeing them again, mm-hmm. you know, just being really genuine about it. Yeah. Even if you have to say something like, you know, Miss Smith, that was the best <laughs> blackberry cobbler. It really rem- reminded me of being at my grandmother's yeah. when I was growing up. You know, make shit up yeah. if you have to, to, uh, you know, bond with your potential in laws. Yes. But uh, anyway, Blake, I hope this has helped you and many others out there. And we we have enjoyed it. And guys, 
Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. What? And also, <laughs> when you're leaving, always say to your future in-laws or your in-laws, looking forward to the next visit yes. so that they know <laughs> that you will be back. Be back. <laughs> <laughs> have you have you um had you know any kind of awkwardness and known anybody to have you know just crazy awkwardness just bringing a family you know bringing is, a lover home to meet their family baby is this directed towards me yes okay this question is you. for me <laughs> honey this this is a good question for me but again you and i are totally opposite mm-hmm. it was always awkward because my family was never accepting right they still don't accept it accept the fact that i'm gay mm-hmm. they think it 20 years later they still think it's a phase <laughs> <laughs> so so they think i've never f- found that one man that's going to make me happy yeah unfortunately unfortunately but you know like my brother is so accepting and loves everybody is the most precious man on the earth other than you (laughs) but unlike your family that is so open Mm -hmm. and so accepting and just loves you for who you are i mean you you know you could bring you know queen elizabeth home and they're just gonna love her no matter the yeah i'm lucky in that way i really am i was gonna ask um i mean but has anybody said anything negative or condescending or? no they knew better you mm-hmm. know um being awkward is one thing mm-hmm. but saying something rude is another mm-hmm. um no but they, some people do mm-hmm. go they go through that i mean no. there some family members got you know they, <laughs> no, my, my family they have it in them to be you know, that way you my know family I mean? would never be rude i know they wouldn't they just they don't would. look at you as my partner in life yes yes okay. unfortunately okay well, unfortunately well i'll tell you what i mean um it is um, better for some than than others, and hence the reason why we wanted to do this podcast, and we know you guys are getting ready to bounce for the holidays, and uh, we want to say, <clears throat> I want to say, don't be afraid to take them home because, you know, you are just making things, to me, um, worse or complicating things right. by keeping that part of yourself hidden away from your family. So yeah. if they love you, they're going to be there whether, you know, you no matter who you're with, mm-hmm. they're going to be there for you. you so know, just keep loving, 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 loving your partner, loving everybody. And I tell you what, drink some champagne for me this holiday season because I'm, I'm drinking champagne right now. She wasn't <laughs> kidding. <laughs> Cheers, and I want you guys to know that I am super duper uber excited that you joined joined us today. Yeah. <laughs> Can I have another one? Yeah, no, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> guys, happy holidays, and Mwah. thank you for joining Mwah. us. I love you, honey. Mwah. I love you too, baby. Well, that's the end of the show. Have a question or want to put your two cents in? Send us an email or follow us on Twitter. But don't forget to subscribe for future shows because, well, you're nosy, and that's a good thing. Now, you don't have to go home, but you do have to get the hell up out of here. Ciao, baby. <laughs>